Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we have a lot to talk about the book releases of 2023. It's going to be a busy year for all the books because I really have all the things to talk about. So, and of course I will be reading the summary from Goodreads because I actually don't know half of them. But they sounded really interesting, so I thought I would share them to you guys. But um, yeah, so let's get going. So I actually did a 2023 release, but um, I thought I would just continue of that video in a way, just because it, it is a lot. So yeah, so my first book is Soul of the Deep by Natasha Bowen, and this is the second book of Skin of the Sea, in which the world must pay the price for one mermaid's choice, and a dark forest reverberates across realms. So one life, one choice, one sacrifice. To save those closest to her, Simi traded away everything, her freedom, her family, and the boy she loves. Now she is sworn to serve a new god watching over the land of the dead at the bottom of the ocean. But when signs of demons begin to appear, it's clear there are deeper consequences of Simi's trade. These demons spell the world ruin. These demons spell the world ruin, and because of Simi, they now have a way into the human realm. With the fate of the world at stake, Simi must break her promise and team up with the scheming trickster of a god, and if they succeed, perhaps Simi can unbreak her heart along the way and find herself again. And this book already came out, so apparently this book already came out September 27th, but I thought it came out on November 8th. Hmm. So that is interesting. That just may be the paperback, I'm assuming. So, yeah, now yeah. you actually have two or three books that are coming out on November 15th. So by this by that time, um, all those books have been released. By the time this video has been uploaded, so go check them out. So one of them is The Six Deaths of the Sea by Alex E. Hado. She is also the author of 10,000... So I'm sending by the doors, hang on. 10,000 Doors of January, that's what's it called, which I have read and it was okay. It felt a little bit eccentric, but... So this book is about the Saint of War spares the life of a seven girl so she can fulfill her destiny as the kingdom's greatest warrior in a short love... in a short story of love and loyalty. Always mindful of the debt she owes, the girl finds her worth as a weapon in the hand of the prince. Her victories make him a king, then an emperor. The bars sing her name and her enemies fear it. But the war never ends and the cost keeps rising. How many times will she repeat her own story? So, it sounds pretty cool. And it comes on November 15th. And the other book that's coming out on November 15th is Heart of the Sun Warrior by Sue Lin Tan. And it's a sequel to Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which I also really like, so that was pretty cool. So, after her perilous quest to free her mother, Zing Ying thrives once more in the tranquility of her home. But her fragile peace is threatened by the discovery of a strange magic on the moon and the unsettling changes in the celestial kingdom as the emperor tightens his grip on power. While Xing Yin is determined to keep clear of the rising danger, the discovery of a shocking truth spurs her into a treacherous confrontation. Forced to flee her home once more, Xing Yin and her companions venture to unexplored lands of the immortal realm, encountering legendary creatures and shrewd monarchs. Beloved friends and bitter anniversaries. When aliases shift in quickening tides, singing has to overcome past grudges and enmities to forge a new path forward, seeking aid where she never imagined she would. 
As an unspeakable terror sweeps across the land, singing must uncover the truth of her heart and claw through devastation. To rise against this evil before it destroys everything she holds dear and the world she has learned to love, even if doing so demands the greatest price of all. So that comes on November 15th. And we have another book called Phaedra by Laura Shepperson. This is a Greek mythology of the returning Phaedra and her unyielding quest for justice. Phaedra has been cast to the side all her life, daughter of an honored Alnatris, sister of a monster and now unwilling bride to the much older power hungry pleases. Young, naive and idealistic, she has accepted her lot in life, reassigned to existing under the sinister weight of Thesis control and the constant watchful eye of her handsome steps and her politics. And this comes on January 10, 2023. On February 7, 2023, we have the sequel to This Woman Kingdom by Tanaha Murphy. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. And it's called These Infinite Threads. So, Alias is the heir to the Jinn throne and fulfills a long foretold prophecy of a Jinn. So when destined to free her people from the half-lives they have been forced to live under the rule of humans. Kamran is the heir to a human throne and he's being pressured to marry before he becomes king. When he falls to love with Alize and sub subsequently learns her true identity, he must question everything he has been taught about Jin and their future in his kingdom. So this comes on February 7. So on February 21st, 2023, we have Nocturne by Alyssa Wees. Or Wes? Wees? So in this haunting lyrical fantasy set in 1930s Chicago, a talented ballerina finds herself torn between her dreams and her desire when she is pursued by a secretive patron who may be more than he seems. This kind of reminds me of Phantom of the Opera Retail. I could be wrong, but it does give me that kind of feel. On January 10th, 2023, this one is an interesting title. It has Emily's Wild Encyclopedia of Fairies by Hello Fawcett. So we are following Cambridge Professor Emily Wilde, who is a good at many things. She is the foremost expert on the studies of fairies. She is a genius scholar and a meticulous researcher who is writing the world's first encyclopedia of fairy lore. But Emily Wilde is not good at people. She can never make small talk at a party or even get invited to one. And she prefers the company of her books, her dog, Shadow, and the fairy folk to other people. So when she arrives in the hard scrabble village of Harafinsvik, I'm sorry if I said it wrong, Emily has no intention of befriending the gruff townsfolk. She not does she not nor does she care to spend time with another new arrival. Her dashing and insufferable Handsome academic rival. I'm sorry, I had to do that. Wendell Bambilly, Bambilby, who manages to charm the townsfolk and get in the middle of Emily's research and utterly confound and frustrate her. But as Emily gets closer and closer to uncovering the secrets of the hidden ones, the most elusive of all fairies lurking in the shadowy forest outside the town. She also finds herself on a trail of another mystery. Who is Wendell Babble by? And what does he really want? To find the answer, she will have to unlock the greatest mystery of all. Her own heart. So, if you like books about fairies, you will like this encyclopedia. So, if you like Scarlet State Claire and her Persephone, this might be for you, but it's not Persephone. So, it is a book called Queen of Myth and Monsters, which is an Adrian X Isolid number 2, and this comes on December 27, 2022. 
So, in Isolid, newly coronated queen has finally found a king worthy of found in the vampire Adrian. But the love for each other has caused Isolid, her father, and her homeland. With two opposing goddesses playing mortals and vampires like chess pieces against one another, Isolid is uncertain who her allies are in the vampire stronghold of Rebecca. So, if you like vampires, you will like this book by St. Clair. And I think she also has another book of Persephone. I think it's called Untouched of Malice. I think that's coming out. So, I'm excited for that. Margaret Rogerson is returning to Sorcery of Thorns. This is like a novella of Sorcery of Thorns. I actually kind of like that book. So, this is Mystery of Thorn Manor. It was on January 17, 2023, and I'm really excited for it. So, the following Elizabeth Scrivener is finally settling into her new life with sorcerer Nathaniel Thorne. Now that the demon companion Silas has returned, so has scrutiny from nosy reporters hungry for gossip about the city's most powerful sorcerer and the uh, librarian who stole his heart. But something strange is afoot at Thorn Manor. The estate's wards, which are meant to keep their home safe, are acting up and forcibly trapping the manor's occupants inside. Surely it must be a coincidence that this happened just as Nathaniel and Elizabeth starting to get closer to one another. That's really sad. <laughs> kind of Leo Bardugo, I kind of gave up on her after reading the Ninth House, I think it was, so I didn't really like that book, but she has a third book coming out for Six of Crows, and that is, yeah, it just says Six of Crows Untitled Number 3. It will come out on next year, and that's all that we have as of now. We also have no new book, uh, this one is just Powerless by Lauren Roberts. It's also coming out next year, but we have no information whatsoever. We are a fan of Cassandra Clear, which I'm not a fan of. I'm sorry. Come at me. You do you. Uh, she is coming out with a new book that is called The Wicked Powers Number no. 1. It looks like to me, to me after the, the, the Dark Artifice and the PLH trilogy. It will have two main characters, Kit and Thai Black Twan. And, um, yeah, she's gonna do five Shadow Hunter series, but that's about it. It looks like there's gonna be three books of the Working Powers. So, I hope you enjoy Cassandra Clare. And it's gonna come out next year. That's all we have. Samantha Shannon, she has a book that will come out on February 28th, 2023, which is like a prequel to an, oh, yeah, it's a standalone prequel to the Priory of the Orange Tree. It's called A Day of Fallen. It's the Roots of Chaos, number zero. <laughs> so, Tunava Nellim is a sister of the Priory. For 50 years, she has trained to save worms, but none of them appear since the neighbors won and the younger generation is starting to question the priority's purpose. So, that comes out next year, uh, February 28th, 2023. We have another book by Chloe Gong, which is Last Final Calls. It's Foul Lady Fortune 1.5, and that's all that we have. It's just gonna surround the events of Foul Lady Fortune. It's the novella and it comes out on February 28th, 2023. So I don't really like controversial authors but if you're interested, uh, the author of Lightlock, Alex Astor, she is having number two and number three done. So number two is gonna come out next year if you are interested in continuing the book. If you like more Greek mythology, we have a book by another one called from Jennifer Saint. I think she also wrote Electra, I think what's it called. So this one is Atalanta and it comes out on April 13, 2023. 
And we have, when a, when a daughter is born to the king of Arcadia, she brings only disappointment. Left exposed on a mountainside, the defenseless infant Atalanta is left to the mercy of a passing mother bear and raised alongside the cubs under the protective eye of the goddess Artemis. Swearing that she will prove her what alongside the famed heroes of Greece, Atalanta leaves her forest to join Jason Hand of Argonauts, but can she carve out her own place in the legends in a world full of men? Made of men. So that comes on April 13th. Also, we have another book for Jennifer C, but it comes out in 2024. And for now, it just says Atlanta, and that's about it. But she also says that it will feature on Hannah. So here's more of the Greek mythology. So if you like Black Sun, and who is by Rebecca Lone Horse, she is having another one, The Mirror Heavens, which is the third book between Earth and Sky. And that's all the information we have. It will come out in August 1st, 2023. Continuing with the Greek mythology, I'm filming on my phone, my camera has problems, so that's fun. But um, we have The Shadow of Persons by Claire Haywood, and this comes on February 21st, yeah, February 21st, 2023. So we have this reinterpretation re of the myth of the Great Hair of Persons told through the voices of three women who are sidelined in a traditional version, his mother Diane, his trophy Medusa, and his wife Andromedia, but whose viewpoints reveal a man who is not, in fact, a hero at all. So it comes out on February 21st. So if you like The Burning Kingdom by Tasha Sutty, she is planning one more book of The Burning Kingdom. Now, I don't know if this is a trilogy, but it will come out next year, 2023, and that's all the information we have. We have no summary yet, so it is the continuation of the Burning Kingdom, which I still need to read. Uh, the first book is called The Jasmine Throne, so yeah, that's all, we, that's all we have information. We have nothing else. If you liked Shelly Parker Chan with She Who Became the Sun, she has a sequel, which is He Who Drowned the World. It is coming out on August 22nd, 2023. And we're following how much would you give to win the world. Zhu Yuan Shang, the reigning king, is riding high after her victory that was south in China from its Mongol masters. Now she burns with a new desire to seize the throne and crown herself emperor. So it comes out August 22nd. If you also like um, Iron Riddle by Zilla and J. Xiao, she also have a second book coming out, which is called Heavenly Twilight, and it is coming out on August 29, 2023, so we're following Zetan, now ruler of Shang'an, must balance dangerous politics with her quest for revenge in the sequel of Iron Window. So that comes out. Also, if you really like Foul Lady Fortune, Chloe Gong has the sequel to Foul Lady Fortune. It will come out next year, but there's no summary, no nothing, so that will come out in 2023. If you like the Golden Wolves, I think that's good. Lashani Kar Chakshi, I think that's how you say. She has a new book coming out in February 14, 2023, and that is The Last Tale of the Flower Bride. So it is a sumptuous, gothic infused story about a marriage that is unraveled by dark secrets, a friendship cursed to end in tragedy, and the danger of believing in fairy tales. So if you like Noshani, she has a new book in February 14, 2023. So as I said before, she has a book coming out of Hades and Persephone, 
Winter's A Touch of Chaos. It is the fourth book. And it will come out in 2023. That's all we know. And it says, The world will burn. Persephone, goddess of spring, never gets a chance encounter with Hades, god of the underworld, would change her life forever, but he did. A fight for humanity and battles between gods. It's a world Persephone never thought she would see. To end the chaos, she must draw upon her darkness and embrace who she become. Goddess, wife, queen of the underworld. Once Persephone made bargains to save those she loves, now she will go to war for them. And those are all the books of 2023 that are coming out. So of course there are plenty of more books, but this is just what I like and based on the things that I want to read. So I'm just kidding, Madeline Miller just announced, well she has announced before that Tempest will be on wait because she's working on a different book, but nothing will, is coming out. But um, she is writing another book about Persephone, so that's exciting. And um, yeah, I don't know if it's going to come out next year. It, no, there's no release date, but she's writing Persephone, so that's exciting. Okay, now those are all the books that are coming out in 2023. Once again, there will be more coming out, but this is what I like to read and what I am familiar about. So, um, whew, I might also do like a 2023 debut. There's also going to be a lot of debut, so that might be coming out soon. I don't know when, but if you like this, please give a like, comment below, and subscribe because this was a lot of researching and turn on the no notification bell so that you won't you won't miss every time I upload and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.